Talk Sessions, we back live on 15 MOFE Radio. It's moving out there. Yeah. Boss my boys in the building, man. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, you're just, just coming right in like that, huh? Ah. <laughs> Hard luck. You already know it's shaking, bro. What's going on, my G? I'm easy, man. I'm just happy to be here, man. First you know of all, uh, as I said behind the scenes, so I'm going to say it on the air so we stamp this. Uh, you, you, your name was spoke upon months ago with a past guest. Shout out to Nick Guns and Smith for the backdoor movement. They Word. put me in tune with you. Word. You know what I mean? It was like, yo, he's from Jersey. Like, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, rah, fuck Yeah, me. them so, the bros. Shout out to Nick Guns, my boy Smith, man. My boy yeah. King Bowen, and man. Yeah, so the bro. I try to always make sure I get back to people that other people put me in tune with. So I, that was already in the works last year. You know what I mean? So now you're here. Word. What part of Jersey are you from? Patterson, man. Oh, oh, okay. All the way up north, man. Yeah, so so top of the map. This man. makes sense Jersey. now with all of the stuff I've been seeing going down online. Man, I am Patterson, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You you want to touch on the boss mob thing first, cause the history of it. Yeah, boss mob. Shout out to my boy Die Hard. You know what I mean? I was something. Um, rest in peace to one of my bros. He came up with the name and all that. We he was a good, great, like the legend from my city. You know what I mean? He passed away. Passed the torch to me. I kept it moving, man. I got it. Buzzing like it's buzzing, I mean. Put the gang with me, got everybody, turned a couple dope boys to rappers, man, changed a few lives, and we trying to get this shit moving, you know what I mean? Now, who is Hard Luck? Hard Luck, man, that's me, man. That's, you know what I mean? Came from nothing, man, trying to be something, you heard? I'm being told that, we can jump right into it. Do what you, you do, baby, I'm, I'm here. I'm being told that Patterson's really your town. Yeah. It's not really this other person's town. As far as what, though? As far as when you mention Patterson, your name comes up first when you're out there. Mm. And opposed to the person name that they say now in media. Yeah. Yeah, talk about it. I mean, you, you if you hear head. from, if you you ain't hear from me, <laughs> yeah, you heard it from others. You telling me you heard it from others. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah solidified. I respect what the streets yeah, saying. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I respect, shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to my fans. Shout out to everybody rocking with hard luck, man. The streets know the real, man. At the end of the day, these... These other guys be trying to sweep shit under the rug, man. You know what I mean? They want they want high history, man. They want to act like the real ain't still out here busting moves. They want to act like niggas ain't put food in their mouth and all that. But I'm here to let you know, like I'm still here. I'm moving. I'm I'm trying to get it. I'm win. I'm trying to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? So who you heard of though? What they talking about? Well, as far as Fetty Wap is concerned. Yeah. Food gang. That's what you call them. Food gang. All right. So you don't call them Remy, Remy boys. Nah, my my boy named Remy. Shout out to Remy. Okay. My boy named Remy. That's where they got well, the name from. Let's 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 keep it professional with it. Yeah. Let's talk about the history and how it started. This uh -huh. is your platform right here. This is True Talk Sessions. Shout out to True Talk, man. I appreciate y'all having me, no man. No doubt, no doubt. Word. Yeah, now nah, um Fetty Wap, he was he was running around with the camp for a little while, you know what I mean? Him and Monty. Monty was like my little man and shit. You know what I'm saying? And um he brought Fetty Wap along. I had him out there doing CDs and T-shirts and studio time and all that, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Before he was really even, before he even opened his mouth, like, before he we even knew what he had, like, he was just there, man, like, you know what I mean? He was just there, like, he was a, he was there. Shout out to Fetty Wap, man. He's I, just, <laughs> I saw the video that you uploaded that he was officially down with Boss Mall. Yeah, he was, he was there. He was there. He was there. It's different because when people do, like, back and forth or even if they don't go back and forth this one say that I'm gonna say it'd be over with it's different when they just have well you gotta believe who you want but when you got actual footage right and you had actual footage yo this they don't even care about actual footage no more bro some niggas do it still matters to them it's crazy because the, the feedback I get like is nothing the real doesn't matter no more if you up you up and that's what they running with you know what I'm saying yeah. that's how the game go but I'm not going to change because that's the way the game going. You feel me? I'm here to keep it funky. Like, I was letting them niggas live for a minute. You know what I mean? They was sneak dissing me, doing a whole bunch of saying my name in different ways, twisting around, talking about situations that Jersey know about. Like, you feel me? So, at some point, I had to come out and do what I had to do. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But, yeah. yeah, like, they came from hard luck, man. I, I, was, I was the guy who put Fetty Wap and Monty in the studio and, when they was fucked up in, in certain positions, I was the guy who made sure they was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was the guy. You know what I mean? And they, 
right now the way they come in and all that the situations we got going it ain't even it's like they puppets and it's a puppet master pulling the strings behind the boards and it's crazy like you feel me i kind of feel bad for the guys at this point because i went so hard on them it's like i flipped the whole shit on them like nobody don't love them no more now like everybody who knew the truth and didn't want to speak on it they was now that i spoke on it like they gunning at them and i'm starting to feel like damn so being <laughs> a, that's been done it's put out there, and y'all do have a history. Yeah, right? now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be probably uh, uh, that nigga for, picking. Wait, wait, like, from, what, no, now, from what I found, I'm gonna be the first one to probably say this. I'm gonna take it somewhere different. You don't even think I'm gonna go? Uh, can you can you see this being worked out and being settled, and y'all possibly coming back together in the future and working together? Honestly, bro, like Freddie Watt probably had a deal for about a year and a half now. Like, he been on, like, two years strong. Like, you feel me? This situation we had was, like, three years old, two and a half. Like, me being a bigger bro, I have been tried to, like, fix the situation. You know what I'm saying? But it was out of their hands. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was out of their hands. So somebody like, else is basically calling the It was the somebody shots else that. behind the scene calling the shots for that, and... They so snaky and devilish in their ways, they just can't come to grips. Like, you know what I mean? What yeah. it is. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Because from the outside looking in, you be like, damn, uh, Patterson's being looked at now, as well as Jersey. You know yeah. what I mean? Jersey City's being looked at. So it's like, you kind of want to see certain artists not beef when we come to this level. Yeah, uh, that's a fact. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, damn. See if they can work this out because we want everybody to win right now. Because right now, Jersey that's being looked at. That's a fact. That's a me? fact, and I get that a lot. And that's the shit that be having me like then. Because, like I told you, like I'm, a, I'm, I'm not no little boy. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I done lost all my friends in the streets. Like, I done put half of my city in the studio, off the corner. Like, you feel? I'm the one who got the whole Patterson rapping right now. You feel me? That's yeah. me. Yeah. Like, that's why you heard. Like, I'm hard luck. I got Fetty Wap, Monty, Nit the Grit. Everybody you hear coming up. Bro, I was the, like, you feel me? Shout out to them, no shade or nothing, like, because that's how niggas take it different ways, but I'm just keeping it funky. Like, it was dead. It was a cemetery, bro. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Yeah. I got this shit jumping, and now everybody, they see what could happen, and they try to get it popping. So, at well, the you, end of the you, day... You had to get stuff off your chest. At the end of the day, it was like, they was being little kids to the point where as though I ain't know no other way to handle it. It wasn't street. It was internet. Yeah. It was, I don't know how to do that. You feel me? It was internet shit. It was music. It was bars that niggas would say. And I know they talking about me and the whole, my whole city know they talking about me. You yeah, yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, I come outside like, yo, Hardy, you heard what that nigga said? Like, yo, what you going? And it was like, yo, I got to address it. Even if I'm not on a platform where it's the whole world, I'm t- I got to come outside, bro. Yeah, you yeah, feel me? So yeah, I had to address yeah. it. Like I told you, it was something I've been stemming for years. Like we had a little situation. To where it's though, me and a certain person they clicked was had a little fallout because of some sucker shit they did. And they chose sides being as though the predicament they was in. You feel me? They chose sides. You feel me? They was in a fucked up predicament. I guess dude was offering some a, a warm shelter. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they chose that side, but they jumped out the window with it. Where it's though they tried to disrespect hard luck. And, you feel me? But they only, and then now they starting to see that even dude that they was running with got them one fucked up. They can't even come to the hood. They oh, all uh, fucked. Like, you feel me? They, yeah, like, they, they all pushed out the group? Nah, nah, nah. That's Shahoo. Right okay, nah, that's, that's my boy. They all pushed right. out the group, man. Shout out to P. Dice, man. He just hit my jack not too long yeah. ago. You know what I mean? Well, you got these two joints. Yeah. And like I said, these joints tell a little. Being that this situation happened, you had to get the stuff off your chest. Like you said, you had to come outside. Yeah. So let's get into both these joints back to back. Uh, you want to break them down? I mean, the first one is called Different Places. You know what I mean? Shout out to my boy AP on the hook, man. It was like he came with the hook, and I was just, it just, it came with it, man. You're, it was like I told you, it was something that was on my chest. Yeah. You know, Fetty Wap had just did the Power 105 video. Uh-huh. They asked him who he was talking about in the My Way song. He said, I don't want to say his name, but he got this oh, many so he followers. Came about you. Listen, yeah, that's oh. what I'm trying to tell you. I'm on defense, bro. They look at me like that. I'm the bad guy because I'm the real guy. Yeah. I'm the street guy. I'm the jail guy. I'm the bad guy, but I'm, I'm not the bad guy. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm on defense. Like, you feel me? Yeah. 
Yeah, he was talking about me and he was talking about me in an interview with the Charlemagne and all them. He didn't say hard luck, he said nah, tough luck. But I, I remember <laughs> the interview you talking about. He said hey. tough luck. He, he said, you going to say his name? He said, nah, tough luck to that nigga. But my whole <laughs> city and state knew what he was talking about. That was subliminal, okay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, damn, you ain't got... You know what I mean? Yeah. Word, so this can't go shit was... My response, man. That, that AP yeah. dude, like that sound. He got that sound. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah. that wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. got that now. I call that shit that now. Now you were saying he's really the originator of that. Who AP? Yeah. Nah. Cause we, cause he, we were saying that we hear certain sounds like that come out of Patterson now. I mean, that's that new sound, like that you hear from them guys, like. Okay. Them new young guys, like that's that sound. Yeah, AP. Feel got, me? Yeah, and I'm, got, I'm more like. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I'm that yeah. raw, like but, you feel but, me. So I gotta mix it in. Well, since you said that, you feel me. Let's get into this Remy Girls joint. You this got. Remy Girls joint is the joint. Like That's this that was raw. the that that can't go was like I threw it out there like I'm coming just to let y'all know it's not a game. Mm -hmm. And then I knew it was gonna be a bunch of niggas that was like, "Yo, why are you playing?" That shit was weak. Without shit sound like a song. I could dance to it. It is a dope song. Though. It's a dope song. <laughs> yeah, but them yeah. niggas that that them cold corners, like that's my audience. Yeah. No bullshit. Like it is what it is. I be trying to get the females to fuck with me and all that. I be trying to get the cool <laughs> little regular little. But my, my yeah, audience yeah. be them cold corners. Like and them niggas was like, yo, nah, you got bite heads off. No homo. Like so. And that's what you came with this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Play. Now, let's get to hard luck. The artist now. You have a project in the works? Yeah, I got that um, No Dope Out DVD about to drop. The New Dope Out DVD. That's more or less um, a few videos of the new dopest joints I dropped lately. You feel me? Including that. I got the video wrapped up. I'm about to put okay. that on World Star first, though, and then I'm going to drop the DVD and shit. I mean, I'm going to um, black market it and let all the Africans get it so them shits could be a million households. <laughs> Word the mother. I'm not playing no games. You heard? Shout out to my Africans, man. Hey, man, I'm about to let them get that, man. This shit about to go global. Did, did you... Well, did you do any work with Forbes DVD? Because I see you gave them exclusive. Like yeah, that. yeah, them my guy. Shout to Forbes DVD, man. Shout to m man. Yeah, Doggy M Diamonds Rack, in there, man. Yeah. You already know. Yeah, I got... um. Yeah, I did some. Um, I did an interview with them. I did some. I came to Brooklyn and rocked with them. They supposed to come to Patterson and, and fuck with me soon. So hopefully they come do that so they can see what's really real. Like, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. come to my hood. I take them nah, to the that's hood. A good dude. That's yeah, a good them dude. good people's yeah. right there. You know what I mean? You know, real recognize real man, and it always been like that for me coming up. So hopefully it stay like that, man. Well, it's it's. Well, why would you say you? Hopefully it stays like that, like. It, it only change up if you change up. Yo, these niggas blackballing out here. You already know these That's niggas. Part of the game. These yeah. niggas is blackballing. They telling DJs don't play my shit. The DJs like, yo, we can't play your shit because we don't want to lose our opportunity. And I'm smacking them, so it's getting crazy and it's okay. it's yeah. putting me in situations the I don't want to be part. in. The politics part. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I don't even like. I'm trying to figure out how to finesse and finagle that. Yeah. And besides putting hands on a nigga, like you feel me? Yeah. I don't know. These niggas crazy. They blackballing. The DJs don't want to play my shit because they're scared someone so ain't going to show up. You know what I'm saying? Well, since you're saying that, do you regret going the way that you're going there? No. Okay, okay. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to get my be. mugger. Like, I'm yeah. going to get my money. Like, you feel me? I, I always look at, I always, like, I, I still look at the stats. You know what I mean? And, and it's, the stats ain't too far gone i'm still getting my money you niggas getting your money i'm getting my money man you heard you niggas got 360 deals i ain't got no deal you feel me where you niggas spend your shit three way i'm putting mines in my pocket you feel me you might get 25 i might get six grand like at the end of the day we even out so i don't give a fuck you feel me <laughs> fuck the politics fuck all that real nigga shit bro that's how i'm coming like I pack show. I still pack shows, bro. Mm -hmm. I could throw. I could get a warehouse and put two thousand people in there at twenty dollars a pop, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? Are we gonna get an invite to the next show? And put that shit in I, my pocket. I wanna like, be at the next fucking show. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, bro, this more. Make sure. Make sure y'all come you through. I'm, I got you. I'm gonna let it be known. Come on, man. Bro, this All that guns, but like, yo, come on, yo, your man having a show. Facts. We gonna ride out. Nah, facts. We yeah, gotta get y'all yeah. in there. We yeah. rock the shows. You're they fuck. My, with my, my nigga, this don't stamp anybody, my nigga. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, word. They stamp you, so. Uh. You know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga Guns. Yeah. That's a but real dude. Now, you're saying the DVD, but music wise, like whole project, 
when it yeah. was dropping. I mean, I just, I got the mixtape. The mixtape's still fresh. No hard feelings. So you gonna rock with that one? Right Go now. check out the mixtape right now. No hard feelings on Audio Mac. Hard luck. No hard feelings. Check that out right now. I promise you, that's that word. You, you said no hard feelings. Yeah. It all coincide. Yeah, you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it all coincide, bro. That's what I'm telling you. That shit out right now. Like, that shit moving. You feel me? That shit buzzing. But you know, when I started doing these records right here, that shit just took a whole nother route. So it took me off the mixtape route a little bit. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But no hard feelings, man. Audio Mac, my SoundCloud. Follow me on SoundCloud. Hard luck with what? one R. Is the dope money on there? Ain't no money like dope money now. Nah, that's see the dope money gonna be on the DVD. See okay. the DVD is a mixtape DVD. All right. It's gonna be at least eleven videos. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Some unofficial, like some a lot of B roll. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's gonna be crowd. I don't wanna give you nobody's, the whole blueprint, but that. nobody's done that in the world. Yeah, it's like that's, a that's, it's a yeah. mixtape DVD. Yeah. You feel me? At the end of the day, everybody got TVs in their car. Flat screens in their house. Niggas got flat screens down the joint now. Shout out to everybody behind the G-Wall. Niggas got flat screens got flat in jail. Flat screens behind the jail? Facts. So. Jesus Christ. No, man. I'm, I'm still seeing people. Niggas got. Niggas I'm got. Niggas got. Um, on IG with box TVs in the back. Nah, like, niggas got these now. Car. Look. <laughs> what you call these shits? Tablets? Yeah. yeah niggas exactly. got tablets yeah, now. Yeah. I ain't even supposed to put that out there because I'm about to have a whole. Everybody down prison system rocking my shit. The well, fuck it is out there now. And they don't even know yet. Ain't no motherfuckers is using cell phones in there and everything now. That shit's all over YouTube. Yeah, man. It's like, not no secret. I'm about to put the DVD out. It's gonna have a G Stro joint featuring Jim Jones. It's gonna have a um. It's gonna have crazy wild joints up there, man. It's definitely gonna have that can't go. You feel me? It's gonna have a. It's gonna have an old footage when y'all can see. How niggas was my the whole, sons. The whole footage that you had to clip It's going to have footage when niggas was my sons. Like, then it, the only thing they say is daddy. Word up. I, they might have said daddy in <laughs> some of that shit. Word. Tune in for the DVD. You're going to know what's really good. You feel me? You're going to know hard luck, personality, music. You feel me? Streets. The real me. At the end of the day. Well, as far as the DVD product, are you using the same directors for it? Um, nah. I mean, like, some of the videos is official videos that was already shot by, well, yeah, that was shot by different directors, you feel me? Yeah. But as far as for the director who putting the whole project together, yeah, and a lot of the filming it, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I got a lot of, it's a lot of, it's not just videos, it's just intros, I mean, what you call them shits we used to have on the albums? Interludes, yeah, interludes. and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's all that up in there, so... Yeah. You can make the other feel using the, all that stuff like that. That that that's, that's sort of like the, the 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 marketing tool that's not used no more, like hands on. Cause yeah. Everything's all media, so you're not just doing media wise. You're doing hands on, like. Yeah, cause I'm out here. So at the end of the day, like I'm I, like I told you, I'm an independent artist, bro. So that I gotta do it like that. You heard it, unless I want to spend a whole hundred grand on promo. You feel me? I'm out here. I'm yeah. I'm gonna go to CIAA with about twenty thousand copies i'm gonna be in an a with about twenty thousand copies yeah. you feel me yeah. i'm gonna be everywhere like i'll be moving my shit you heard get that shit away sell a couple had a little homie selling them shit had fetty wop the little fetty whoppers had them little niggas out there selling them shits you heard <laughs> so they could get their money up you heard so they could fucking yeah. put some food in their stomach you know what i'm saying that's yeah. how i do man I'm, everybody gotta eat i i, I swear i want to see y'all make this uh Situation, yeah. Everybody do though. I ain't gonna front. You was a good guy for that, and I'm a good yeah. guy like that too. Yeah. But like, I, I at the end of the day, it didn't happen that way, and they ain't wanted to happen yeah. that way. So <laughs> I, I, I had though. to bring the beast out. Like, and I'm a good guy too. I like how you did that. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> nah, for real though. Listen, nah, because like, only reason why I was because I don't see nothing from it. I'm nah, like, because you know what? It's like Jersey. Look, look exactly. it's Jersey. Look, this is what I always wanted. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm saying. See. It's a little snake in the fucking grass that just keep biting niggas and putting that venom in them. That's what's fucking the Garden State up. Yeah. Feel me? It's fucking it's garden snakes in the grass, bro. You feel me? But at the end of the day, that's what I always wanted. That's why I always made myself available. I always, y'all did BT and I was back on the corner with all the homies. Like, yo, we just and watching that shit. You feel me? And showing them, like, yo, I came here before and I brought like 15 niggas with me and I made them all rap. Oh, you been at the station before? It was with the. 
Heavy bag. Heavy bag. Okay. You feel oh, me? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Shout out to the homie Heavy yeah, bag. Yeah. Word. Like, and I put the 15 boss mob niggas with me. Like, niggas just came from jail. All that. Like, they wanted a shot. Like, I always was here to give niggas a That's shot, bro. Up. Like, okay. I want to see Jersey win. Like, you feel me? But let's be real, though. Is niggas opening doors and niggas closing them? You tell me. Because if Hard Luck had that platform right now, I could name about 20 niggas that would have bought their mama's house. 20? 20. That's a lot of miles to feed, Hard. At the end of the day, look, look, you got to be a businessman in this shit. 20? He's looking away over there and thinking about the <laughs> shit. Yo, because niggas fucked up out there, man. Niggas still riding that wave. Niggas praying for a handout. This shit deep as hell, then. Niggas praying, man. This shit deep as hell, then. It's looking sad. You heard? Yeah. And I'm putting niggas on, right? I'm, I'm with my. Fuck, I'm doing putting niggas on. Like, niggas having babies and pit my inbox. Like, I need this and I, I need my son after you. Like, fuck. You know what I mean? I ain't yeah. got no deal, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. I do this shit for niggas to eat, bro. For real, I know it's money in this shit. You know what I mean? I ain't never been stingy. I ain't never hide the blueprint. You feel me? I ain't never charged for it. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I always show that it's here. It's for everybody. Let's get it. Word. Niggas closing them doors, bro. You feel me? Well, I, I didn't close the door for you. No, nah, that's, yeah. that's why I had to speak up. Yeah. Because if I didn't, where would I? Where you going to say it at? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's why I had to speak up, and that that's what we'll open the doors. Like that's what made niggas like, oh, let me see what's going. On. Because yo, we gotta tell them what's real out here, man. Like it's real talent out here in Jersey. It's some fire ass niggas. You feel me? It's a lot of money to be made. This the new market. This the new Atlanta. You feel me? This the new New York. True, like true. this it right here. Like yeah. this what y'all ain't do yet. This what y'all ain't see yet. Y'all hear Fetty Wap? Y'all hear? Y'all hear them niggas? It's more than where you think they got it from. Feel me? Yeah. Come get it. Don't let niggas close the door because they kick they brought the group and you think we punks. <laughs> Y'all don't understand this shit. It's deeper than you feel me? An interview. That's why I'm too deep for this rap shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, this shit real. This shit too. Like where are they on there? You hear me? Yeah. Real nigga shit, That's bro. Real. Like speak your piece, I'm not. Bro. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna fold. I'm not gonna switch. I'm not fuck an image. All that. I'm gonna be the real hard luck. You feel me? I'm gonna eat. Regard. I'm good money. You heard? Word. I'm. Oh, I'm good money at the end of the day. So fuck your check. You heard? You want in on what I got going? Come get it. Word. I think we can close it out on that right there. Boss my boys in the building. Follow me on Instagram at Hard Luck with two R's. On Twitter at Hard Luck with two R's. On Facebook at Hard Luck. My Facebook link. Shout out to everybody following. Shout out to my whole city, Patterson, New Jersey. You already know. Skellies and Jackets. Boss Mob Skellies. You heard? <laughs> Boss Mob Jackets. Far cities, drippy shit. Quick. That's what he was doing earlier, fixing the Nah, sure real talk. We got that point. drippy shit. We don't got that bum ass gear. We got that <laughs> fly shit. You heard? We got boss my merchandise. We lit out here. Come fuck with me, for real. We do shit. We we pack the shows. Everybody at the show got boss my skellies and jackets on. You feel me? Everybody streaming different places and places you can't go, nigga. You feel me? Like we rocking. Like fuck with me. Y'all niggas got to fuck with me. Y'all probably never heard me before. Y'all heard of me now. Fuck with me. Like, I'm a real nigga, bro. Just because I'm coming at niggas' neck and I'm eating. Like, look, you know what I get from all the little 12 and 13-year-old fans? Like, yo, he hating and he doing... This shit ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This shit ain't got nothing to do with no money. A nigga paid up. A nigga... I, I don't want to go in my pocket and be on no, yo, show-off rapper, Joel Santana back in the day shit, nah. Feel me? But a nigga got it on him. Racks. Nigga ain't hating on nobody. A nigga just speaking his peace, and I want the world to know that. You feel me? Yeah. At the end of the day, like, a nigga just speaking his peace. A nigga kind of in defense, but it's looking like offense because a nigga real aggressive. You feel me? And them niggas soft. So it's looking like I'm on offense. I'm on defense, though, man. Y'all got to fuck with me. Hard luck, man. Don't get this shit misconstrued, man. Shout out to my boy, Rock Grizzly. Yeah, you already know, man. Yeah. Feel me? Uh... 
we're gonna close up the show. I just wanted to make sure I gave him this platform to speak his piece. Yo, I appreciate it. I think it, it was man. a good interview. You definitely wasn't hating. Mm. You're just speaking your piece, man. Fact. It, it's from what I got out of it, it goes deeper than music with y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's always more than one side of a story. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So that being said, make sure I come out to that performance though. Yeah, you gotta come out to and that, that bro. video shoot for that dope money. Yeah, we're gonna set that I'm up real soon. We're gonna get that moving before we get out of town <laughs> and all that. Yeah, true talk session. <laughs>